Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Buena Park, California, and even more specifically than that, we are in front of Knott's Berry Farm. Now, uh, last year, I got the uh, Cedar Fair Platinum Pass, which allowed me to get into uh, all the different Cedar Fair parks. I paid about, about $300 for it. Um, and I visited a large amount of Cedar Fair Park. I did not manage to get out here to California and to visit Knott's uh, Berry Farm. And, and even more sadly, I missed Knott's Scary Farm, their, uh, their Halloween event that is one of my favorite Halloween events in the country. So I figured now that I'm back in California, it's time to stop back in to Knott's. I actually renewed my Cedar Fair uh, Platinum Pass today. Again, it was, I think it was about, about, about $300. I think I added I added the, the drink pass, which lets you get a, a soda every 15 minutes. I think with that combined, it added up to, I think I paid about $315 uh, for the pass. Hopefully I can get some use out of it this year. We'll stop by some of the uh, different Cedar Fair parks. But honestly, this is probably my favorite of all the Cedar Fair parks and one of my favorite amusement parks in the country. So please, follow me. As we enter the park, it does appear that they're having the Knott's Peanuts celebration, a uh, celebration of the Peanuts characters, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and all his friends, which actually do act as mascots for all the Cedar Fair parks. I guess they're having a very special uh, Peanuts celebration to celebrate these characters. And as we enter, we do have these different uh, photo ops that we can partake in. this one with Snoopy and his blanket. This one actually has instructions with it. So we pose like this, and but then, then we flip the picture on its side to make it look like Snoopy is pulling us through the air by his blanket. So I will pose like this, but I'll flip the video so it looks uh, like it's supposed to. There's a psychiatric help desk. It's Lucy would vend psychiatric help for five cents. But here, they're selling uh, t-shirts. Probably, probably cost a little more than five cents though. But now it's time to enter the classic section of Knott's, the ghost town area. You can see the Old West buildings here. We have the Golden Trails Hotel. A say office? A say office? I don't know what an essay office is. If you know what an essay office is, leave a comment in the comment section. But actually, I'm just gonna assume it says, it says we buy gold. So I assume an essay office is uh, where where they buy gold. We're gonna actually peek in the window here of the office. Oh, look at that. We got some uh, cowboys inside. Okay, this guy is uh, weighing gold there. You can see he's weighing the different gold nuggets and writing down the weights in his ledger. So yeah, this must be the say office. Must be where people deal in gold. And there's actually a grave right here in front of the say office. I know they have a cemetery here at Knott's. So I'm not sure why this individual is buried in front of the gold office. It says here lies Deadwood Dick. Uh, well, ornery critter 
in three counties. He told the sheriff they'd never take him alive. They didn't. This is him. The sheriff cover him up, boys. So, I uh, guess he said the sheriff would never take him alive, and the sheriff responded by killing him. Here we have Hop Wing Lee Laundry. You can see some of the laundry hanging on the line above the laundry shop here. Look inside, you can see the gentleman there ironing some laundry. Of course, you always know the barber shop by that nice striped barber's pole. See uh, people waiting there to get their hair cut, to get the shave. See the barber there, hard at work. I'm giving this gentleman a, a new haircut and a makeover. The drugstore here. Oh, is that the drugstore owner right there selling the finest drugs in the West? Here we have the sheriff's office. You can see what the sheriff's up to. Oh, looks like the sheriff's actually uh, busy playing cards. It's the sheriff's gambling instead of uh, instead of doing sheriff duties. And I'd watch out for this guy. He's got uh, he's got a couple of aces in his boot there. The jail is actually in this small shed behind the sheriff's office. You can see the sign there, town jail this way. See the sign says, Sad Eye Joe, horse thief caught by sheriff now in town jail. And look at that leg, I always wonder whose leg that is hanging out of the window. Oh, I think it just moved. Am I crazy or did it just move a little bit? All right, we're gonna say hello to our friend, uh, Sad Eye Joe. Are you, are you in there, Joe? Well, howdy, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? Well, I'm just sitting around. Just sitting around? Yep, that's all there is to do in jail. Yeah, I, I, was, I was just coming by to see if you were still in jail. Yep. I've been here 78 years. 78 years, oh my God, that's quite a sentence. Yep. All because I didn't listen to my mom and dad. You didn't listen to your mom and dad, well, you gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah. So I, I had a question, Joe. What's the question? I've always wondered this, whose leg is that hanging out? That's Sally, that's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend, Sally? Yeah. Turn around and yell, hi, Sally, so wave to you. Oh, you can turn, wave, wave to Sally? Hi, Sally. Oh, let's see. Hi, Sally. Hi. Oh, look at that. See the leg waving high. That's Sad Eye's girlfriend, Sally. <laughs> yeah, we have Goldie's place here. I guess they're selling rooms. See a few young ladies up there in uh, in the windows of the hotel. Let's uh, peek in this lower window. Oh, yeah. There's another, uh, another young lady right there. Yo, why are there only ladies in this hotel? Here at the livery stables, or livery stables, I still haven't figured out <laughs> the correct way to pronounce that. Is it livery stable or livery stable? But anyways, the stable here has been transformed into pig pens, pig pen for the peanut celebration. Let's see in the center here we have a statue of a pig wallowing in its own filth. Over here we have some tiny, adorable baby piglets. Hey, what are you piglets doing? Oh no, are they fighting? Or are they just... Oh, just, just walking around being cute little pigs. Hey piggies. Hey piggy piggy. Oh, what's he doing there? He's like, they're like laying in their food dish. What you doing, Mr. Horse? Hey, horsey. We have some uh, black smithery going on here. The blacksmith there working with the hot metals. Here's the bottle house. You can see made out of different bottles. Kind of a classic folk art way to make a house. It's all the different wine bottles there. And they have the concrete in between them. Some young ladies here outside of the bottle house. So this lady here is enjoying a box of chocolates. And you know what they say, life is like a box of chocolates. You just need to look under the lid and you'll know exactly 
what's going to happen. Looks like this lady's jealous. She wants, she wants one of those chocolates. Guess we should put our drink pass to use and uh, grab a soda. All right, I think we got to go straight for the Knotts Berry Punch. They have actually sugar-free berry punch and regular recipe. I think we'll we'll try the uh, the original recipe first. All right, sip on some of this Knotts Berry Punch. It's from Boysenberries. Boysenberries are like a type of blackberry. Oh, it's really good. Pretty sweet. We'll try the we'll try the sugar free next time, but and it's not carbonated. We have these authentic uh, stagecoach rides. That's pretty amazing. I think I might uh, hop aboard one of these stagecoaches. All oh, those horses. Now let's get in line for the stagecoach. And there is no preference. Our chariot awaits. All right. Step watch ahead. All right. Here we go. I think this. I think this actually is the first time we've ever actually been in a stagecoach. We're leaving the stagecoach station there. Oh, looks like we're going uphill here. Let's see the horses there calling us. There's four horses on the stagecoach there. Oh, you can see the train over there out the window. There we go. Just hanging out the stagecoach window there. Pretty fun. Hello, everybody. Oh, it looks like they're doing some major construction to this part of the park. Doing some refurbishment here. I think this is like the kids section. Some uh, kitty rides. Oh yeah, lots of spinning rides and stuff on this area of the park. So like they're like, yeah, redoing the entire entire uh, section here. We enjoy watching the roller coasters here from the stagecoach. Looks like the horses are pulling us back into the station here. All right, this time we're gonna give the sugar-free berry punch a try. Ooh, that's good. Well, I think I like, I think I like the sugar-free actually better. You know, sometimes I, when I, I don't drink as many sugary sugary sodas as I used to, I drink more diet sodas. So I think sometimes I drink the regular soda and they're just too sugary. So I think I, I kind of like. You know, like the diet. Like right now, I prefer diet orange soda over regular orange soda. Mm. We have the classic Knott's Berry Farm cowboy photo op there. See this cowboy there? He's got his gun, his sack of money, he's sitting back enjoying his pipe. This guy looks like he's taking a few sips of the old moonshine. Well, howdy, partners. Actually, it's a comfy, cozy fit here. Kind of snuggling, snuggling with these cowboys. Actually, you might not smoking that pipe right in my face. The Undertaker shop here. Let's let's see what the Undertaker's up to. Oh, you can see they're burying a man who was hanged. A criminal that was hanged. Oh no! Look at that. He just turned. He's before our eyes. He morphed into a super spooky skeleton. Think he'll do it again? There he goes. Oh, that's so spooky. The 
theater here, the Birdcage Theater. Of course, the original Birdcage Theater in uh, Tombstone, Arizona. Oh, and there comes the train. The steam engine there. Slowly chugging through the park. have the Boot Hill Cemetery where the outlaws are buried. We have Hiram McTavish here and actually if you feel the grave here you can feel I don't know if you can hear that but you can feel his heart beating. It says legend has his heart will beat again after a hundred years. Any varmint that sets their foot on his grave will be beaten. Oh my goodness. Apparently we're going to get beaten. And of course back here in the rear of the cemetery is my boy, Lester Moore. He died from four slugs from a 44, no less, no more. Because there's not, you do not have a proper theme park cemetery without Mr. Lester Moore. And here we have the barrel house. It's a literal house made of barrels. And leap her cables light. Come hither, come hither, my little daughter. And oh. do not tumble so, for I can weather the roughest gale that ever wind did blow. What's this? He wrapped her warm in his a guy reading a book there. The stinging blast. He got a rope from a broken spar and bound her to the mast. There's the ghost town town hall. And next door we actually have the ghost town museum. Let's uh, check this out. One of the most amazing items they have here in the museum is the original head of Sad Eye Joe. We talked to talked to Joe earlier in his jail cell. That's the original Sad Eye Joe's head there. And apparently when he first debuted he was he was he was actually a scary character. He was actually a, a murderer but uh, they toned it down and made him a dopey horse thief. Let's see all these different brands right here people would use to to brand their uh, their cattle. See that one says Sam, so Sam could could put a mark on his cows and say Sam, so everyone knows that these are Sam's cows. This is the game of Pharaoh. Apparently, this was a very popular gambling game in the uh, Wild West. is one of the most popular games at that time. Um, however, it is no longer used as a gambling game because apparently it was so easy to cheat at. So uh, this is the last official game of Pharaoh uh, as, a, as, a, as a gambling game was played in 1985 in uh, Reno, Nevada. You can see the model there. The uh, covered wagons heading out west. See the old roulette wheel up there. You can see some guns, guns, guns. Guns, 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 guns. In this case right here. These are old cigarette cards. It says that in the 1880s that cigarettes were packed. Each cigarette pack came with a picture of an attractive lady. Looks like the train is back in the station. Maybe we could uh, hop aboard the train, go for a ride. And in the train station here, train actually filled up before I got on, so we'll have to wait for the next train. All right, there's our train. Getting on the train, find ourselves a good seat here. Jeez. Because we're starting. 
Oh, there we go. Slowly lurching out of the station. Have a good journey. We'll see you back at the station. cemetery there oh my look at all that steam from the train see an old wild west facade that we're passing by oh no train robbers Oh. All right. Yeah. On three, you're wrong. One, two, three, let's run. I lost my gun. He lost his gun. I lost my gun. I used yours. No, you can't use mine. What would I use? Use your finger. My finger? Yeah. All right, Nick, we're going. Oh, you like that, right? oh, no, not like that. I'm pointing like a gun. I can't do that. Why not? I'm going to send it in black. I'm pulling back into the station. <laughs> Oh, that robber just got on the train there. Are you gonna rob that train? <laughs> oh no! I didn't. Okay, I won't say anything. Hello. We got Linus and Franklin here at Sparky's Ranch. They're dressed up in their finest Western gear. Oh yeah, you guys look very, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's, let, me, let me get in here. How you doing, guys? You having a good, it's a peanut celebration. You guys having a good peanut celebration? Oh, we're gonna raise the roof there, awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Are we allowed to shake hands? There we go. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Oh, thanks, guys. It's time to hop aboard a different kind of train. This is uh, my favorite ride here at Knott's Berry Farm, the Calico Mine Company. It's a train ride through an old mine with a bunch of awesome animatronics. Oh, do you see one of the trains up there cutting through the mountain pass? Head on in to the Calico Mine. Hello, howdy. Well, that's ominous. You see those vultures up there waiting to pick the meat from our dead bodies. All right, let's find our seat here on the train. We sit here in the back. Sluice Box Speed. I discovered this here Calico Mountain back in 1882. You might say I'm the pappy of this here gold mine. Oh, you brought your own picks and shovels. You want to stake a claim here? Oh, look at that. Look at the colors of the cave here. going to be danger. Oh, look over here. Look at all the animatronics at work. Like a thousand animatronics moving all at the same time. See a guy there panning for gold. I guess this guy's trying to catch a fish. Here. 
yonder with that big nugget. That's bound to be 10 pounds, I'll bet you. Oh, someone has a big nugget of gold. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the size of that guy's nugget there. This is the very upper reaches of the Under the waterfall. Oh, there's those vultures up there. log flume ride as well full of animatronics unfortunately it's not operating right now you see the water's been drained fortunately I, I, I found myself here in the in the winter time a few times I guess they did not run it at the beginning of the year and I have rode it uh, in uh, during the scary farm so I've seen the Halloween overlay but I've never actually got a chance to see the normal ride without the Halloween overlay walking out onto the boardwalk section of Knott's Berry Farm. This section of the park is more like your traditional uh, Cedar Fair Park. To the big tower there, the Sky Cabin ride that takes you up into the sky and lets you view the surrounding area. Let's uh, see what we can see from up there. All right, entering the Sky Cabin here. So dope. Walk all the way down to the right, sit down. Oh, there we there go. There is no walking or jumping while the ride is in motion. You see the roller There's coaster no right here. There's no eating and drinking on this ride. You're more than welcome to stand up. Just hold on to those rails off for me, please. Thank you and enjoy your view. Kind of rise and spiral at the same time. That has been flung, yes, over Knott's Ferry Farm since 1976. That roller coaster all the lit up. Cabin, which you are currently riding, was originally See the drop tower transported right there. See them down there at the bottom. Sending down a 96 degree the drop. Sun setting here over California. Fiesta Village and Camp Snoopy areas. That mountain range, for instance, is our Timber Mountain Log Run. First theme park area that was over there, that's the uh, under 12 years of age. ghost town area out in the that distance, direction. You can see an ancient Aztec temple, which is our Jaguar attraction, a family roller coaster that sends passengers on an exciting tour around Fiesta Village. Yeah, that's actually After really beautiful nighttime tower, view from up backwards. here on top goes of the back sky the cabin. And passes through the station of a second 112 foot tower. I've been in a few similar rides, similar towers to this. They have one of these at uh, at uh, Great America in, in the one in Illinois, and then I think they have I think that they have one of these at uh, Hershey Park. I've actually not rode the one at Hershey Park, and uh, oh yeah, they do have one at Carowinds as well. It's another Cedar Fair Park. Uh, looks like we're starting to spiral downwards back to planet Earth. That's really pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just been cleared to land at Knott's Berry Farms Boardwalk. Please make sure you have collected all luggage and personal belongings you may have brought on board. If you require assistance exiting the Sky Cabin, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have exited. And there it is, heading up the uh, Sky Cabin we were just on. Just gave us a beautiful view of the park and the surrounding area. See just how high they are up there in the sky. On this glowing blue coaster down here. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it spiraled up there and back that way. And oh, here it comes, here it comes. 
Oh my. You can see their version of the Scrambler there. Call it the Pacific Scrambler. This soggy rapid right here. You see the animatronic bear there with his fish as the people fly by. Oh, look at him. Got his little fish there. Also a mean old mountain lion looking out from that cave there. The farmhouse here, surrounded by chickens. Oh. Hi. Am I gonna do a YouTube video? Actually, yes. Hi. Hi. So that hen house there. Oh look, the fox poking his head up out of the hen house. You can see the Little bear there, these little prairie dogs poking up from the little holes. Oh, and check this out next to the river rapids, we have the uh, Knott's Berry Farm's very own moonshine still. Oh, it's that wolf howls when they go by. Okay, I think I've seen most of Calico River Rapids without actually having to get uh, drenched. And it is the Peanuts celebration, so we should stop by here at Camp Snoopy. I think it may be time to hop aboard yet another train here at Knott's. We have the uh, Grand Sierra Railroad Beagle Bonanza. All right, look at this. We got the uh, whole train to ourselves. And here we go. Off on another train ride. Lucy, queen of the Beagle Bonanza. Well, here we go. We see Snoopy with his little bird friends. Ticket booth of some sort. All the kids are all buying tickets. Beagle Bonanza, all dogs allowed. The cactus kissing booth, you can kiss a cactus. Yeah, a little carnival going on here. Oh, what's that? Is that our train? Oh, look at that. It's like a carnival fun house. It says Olaf's House of Fun there. Oh, there's a, a sculpture made of boysenberries there. Over this bridge is the bandstand. Oh, there's a little, a little Snoopy bluegrass band. Rolling back into the station. Why is Charlie Brown fishing with a bag on his head? We have a child to teacher translating machine. We have this. Uh, Recording device here, I guess we push this button here, hold and record, to hold that to record. And I speak in here, uh, a carpet bagger here, uh, enjoying his time at, uh, at, uh, at Knott's Berry Farm, and I uh, definitely enjoyed my day here at, uh, at Knott's. So they're gonna, it's gonna translate that to, uh, to teacher speak. Spinning Superman uh, type rides there with Snoopy. See Woodstock's twirling tree there. Yeah, we saw this. They were doing some construction while we were on the stagecoach. They have a Fiesta Village. I guess it's being completely refurbished and uh, coming this summer. Let's see if we can grab some dinner here at Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant. They have a giant chicken there, right in front. All right, let me get us the chicken dinner here. 
Now the roasted chicken does sound good, but I don't know, I'm thinking about sticking to that traditional, uh, this is not famous fried chicken. Got some more boysenberry punch. Got some rolls there with some boysenberry jelly. Yeah, we're going all in with the boysenberry. Mm. Oh, that's very good. Even went ahead and got some boysenberry dressing for the salad here. <laughs> Almost looks like Pepto Bismol on lettuce. Mm. Super good. Everything with boysenberries in it is delicious. And our chicken has arrived. Some delicious looking fried chicken, some mashed potatoes, and some corn. Oh boy, this looks good. Some fried chicken to try. Mm. There's some mighty good fried chicken there. Mm. Let me try some of these mashed potatoes. They have an interesting like white gravy on it. Mm. That's good. It's like real mashed potatoes. You can feel the real potatoes in there. We have finished all our food and are now a member of the <laughs> Clean Bone Club. And we will finish things off with what else? Boysenberry pie. The boysenberry pie there. Switched to an almost entirely boysen-based berry diet. And what a fine chicken dinner it was. So I wanted to thank everyone for joining me here today at Knott's Berry Farm. One of my favorite amusement parks. I always love to get a chance to come out here. And yeah, I was, I was, I was so bummed that I missed Knott's Scary Farm last year. They, they, they had it a week later and I ended up missing it with my California trip. But hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes according to plan and if I don't die, I will plan on being at not scary farm uh, this Halloween. I'm very, very, I'm actually very excited about it. It's one of my favorite events uh, of the year. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I did get my platinum card renewed today. So if there's other uh, Cedar Fair parks you want me to check out, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos arrive. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. The enamel pins will be back in a few weeks. They are taking a vacation right now. So uh, until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. Wait, is this you? Wait, is this hey, damn, he famous as hell. Damn. Damn. Oh, thank you. Hey, this is a very cool guy. Make sure to follow, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, comment. Awesome. Thank you. Share to your family too. Share your family. Awesome.